if I'm not mistaken, that out there is called summer. Welcome back. It's been a long time. Well, we are doing the last two miles of the Macclesfield Canal. We're going to Marple, uh, to the junction of the Peak Forest Canal. That's been rather pleasant, hasn't it, the Macclesfield? It has. It would have been even more pleasant if the sun had shone on us a uh, little yes, bit. Yes, we've got a bit of uh, the yellow stuff today. But we did promise not to talk about the weather anymore, <laughs> didn't we? Did we? Weeks ago. It's a I great think. British occupation. <laughs> Anyway, it has been a lovely stretch of canal, you're right. So we're going to look for a spot uh, where we can leave the boat for a few days. We've got to go back to the cottage, a few things to sort out and some paperwork to be done. And then come back, we're leaving on Monday, today's Saturday, we're leaving on Monday, coming back Thursday. Neither of us want to, but we've got to. <laughs> it's not bad back there, you know. It's, it's lovely. Just it's not as lovely as this. This is home. This is home. Now for us. And we are we are lucky, aren't we, to have both options if yes, you want them. Yes. So that's the plan. We've just uh, been to the shop to get our Saturday ritual, <laughs> which consists of the Time newspaper. It's the only newspaper we buy every Saturday. It lasts us a few days to get through a read. Yeah. What's worth reading in there? 50% yeah, of it is rubbish. But it's there's one big thing about the Times paper, and that's the Saturday crossword, isn't it? The jumbo crossword every Saturday in the review section keeps us entertained after breakfast for most of the morning. We kid most ourselves that it's uh, improving our brain power and uh, and keeping dementia and such things at bay. But actually, who are you? All it means is that we can have another half an hour sitting around with a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> pretending to do puzzles <laughs> but we do it and it's become a real routine for us isn't it oh yeah we're really disappointed sometimes when we get to the shop on a Saturday morning and they've sold out <laughs> and the quickest we ever did that crossword was in a pub one well, lunch we did it in under an hour didn't we in a pub one day 54 minutes to be yeah. precise <laughs> yes <laughs> like, like that's the one and only time we've ever completed it in that time we, don't tell them that we, we, do, just... com we do complete it and we don't use any aids. There's no looking up things and crossword no, solvers no and anagram solvers, anything like no, that. And it, and it isn't the cryptic one. It's just the boring old ordinary one. But. Yeah, I don't do cryptic. I can't do cryptic. Oh, I just no. I just don't understand. Well, look at the apples. Move the boat tree. over a bit. What do you think you're going to read? I don't think you'll get them, hun. They're not ripe anyway, are they? Look. Come back in a couple of weeks. One of the good things about going to the cottage is there must be about eight fruit trees in the garden, I think. Um, so I'm hoping that there'll be some ripe apples there. Well, I know one also. thing there won't be. Ripe raspberries after the gardener yeah. cut all the canes down in the uh, spring. Yeah. Which was a bit of upset for us, being professional gardeners. We asked him to cut the raspberries and he just chopped everything off. He didn't prune them. <laughs> so no fruit so, on those this year. Never mind. No <laughs> We're now at Marple Junction, just about to turn onto the Peak Forest Canal proper, which is the canal that was closed due to the, um, the faulty reservoir recently and is now open. So once again, we are just about to go onto new waters again for us. New Canal Day. New Canal Day. We stopped off briefly for some shopping just green grocer and vegetables and a little shop here. We found a lovely mooring spot just round the corner. We weren't that happy with mooring right in the town, but just through this marble junction onto the Peak Forest Canal, there's some lovely moorings. The views reappear with mountains and hills in the background. 
Well, I don't know if they're mountains. Well, interesting. They're coming full steam ahead. They're not looking. <laughs> well done, Rich. That was as near a miss as we've uh, ever had, I think. <laughs> And if you can hear me, to the left are the marple locks that we will be going up in a few weeks' time. Towards Manchester. Heading towards Manchester. So that was a close one, wasn't it? Just a little bit. <laughs> it's happened again that it seems that since we've turned onto a new canal, it, the scenery just seems to have changed again, doesn't it? And I think somewhere up there is tomorrow's walk. And somebody's promised they're going to cook me roast dinner. Herefordshire countryside and yes we're in a blooming car we've been back at the cottage for five days I think came back on Monday to do a couple of bits and pieces and we've been held up um, off to I don't know just other bits and pieces that we have to do when we're down here and we're doing the changeover so we're back tomorrow yeah but it's been nice, we've had a, a few little walks around. Dogs have been swimming like mad in the local river, haven't they? Uh, Just absolutely... Ta Archie is taken to... As soon as you get to the river, he swims. And when you, you want to leave, he stands in the water and cries because he doesn't want to go, doesn't he? We'll have to get that on video. But we did a little bit of cupboard sorting out. Um, what did you find while we were at the cottage? Yeah, I found some old photo slides of... Um when I was a kid on our narrowboat, so I'm going to get them digitally copied so I can make a little vlog about it. Little 12 year old Richie on the tiller. Yeah. <laughs> it, the funny thing is, last week my brother sent me uh, an email saying, Have you seen this? And he's found that our, our old boat, which was built in 1972, is up for sale in London. And it is the boat we, we went past when we were in London in the autumn last year. Uh, I thought it was, it really looked like it, and uh, it's been gutted inside completely. But yeah, it's the same boat, so uh, yeah, it's up for sale. So, if anybody wants a 47 year old boat, it's 21 grand in London. Wow, for a 40 foot boat, Please. you you could have been tempted, well, you wouldn't have been tempted, but it no. would have just been nice to have uh, gone around it and seen it. I'd love it, to have it? gone on board again, Please, yeah. Uh,
this is why we're in Hereford. This is the town hall behind us. And we've got to go in there to what? <laughs> <laughs> to announce our intent to get married. It's going to make a decent woman of me. <laughs> so yeah, we've had to come all the way to Hereford to let them know we're getting married in Ludlow in two months time. We've so. been on the boat, what, 18 months now, living yeah, in that confined space together and we sort of think uh, you're we, can right. not, we can do it. You'll do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's we're going we're to get married. Do. In two months time. <laughs> Well, for some reason the camera decided it wasn't going to record the sound on this little clip but uh, we passed the interview, we got our names down and uh, all okay for us to get married in two months time so uh, we're really chuffed. Well I'm really chuffed, I don't know what Frank thinks but uh, yeah, happy as Larry. <laughs>